The traditional marriage ceremony between Isaiah Sabo Ibinedion and Bob Umwagu witnessed a gathering of who and who from the Great Benin Kingdom from Edo State and the Arochuku Kingdom from Imo State. Different cultural troops from the Benin and Igbo clans were on the ground at the Asokoro residence of Chief Loki Ibinedio, a two-time governor of Edo State, to thrill guests and the audience. <laughs> Among dignitaries at the marriage ceremony were past and present governors, ministers, senators, among others. As it is in the Benin marital tradition, the ceremony kicked off with introduction of both family members. Father of the bride then presented cola nuts, drinks and other edibles to welcome the parents of the bridegroom. Parents of the bridegroom, on the other hand, formally announced the intention of their visit amidst merriment. Thereafter, the groom's father also presented cola nuts and drinks to parents of the bride. After this exercise, the father of the bridegroom presented the dowry to the bride's parents. Still according to Benin traditions, the bride was placed on her father's lap on the seventh count before she is finally placed on the groom's father's lap and prayers were then offered. During the ceremony, Fake brides were brought in and out by the older women of the Ibnedion family and the groom was asked to identify his bride. No. Are you sure? I'm going to my bride. Okay, let's try again. Bo, yes, sir. <laughs> you see the one? Yeah, that's my one. You are sure? <laughs> you are sure? Yes, 100%. After the ceremony, the groom, Bob Wangu, expressed joy, having been joined with the love of his life. In fact, Zumi, that's the number one wedding. After that, you are married legally and every other way you can think of. Parents of the bride and groom offered prayers and words of advice to their children as they set out on their marital journey. I'm very glad that both of them have come together. I wish them the very best. I pray that God will bless them with all the beautiful things in life. I pray for them that they find happiness, continue to find joy in each other all the years of their lives. That they remain friends and remain a beautiful couple that they are now. They we came, we saw, we conquered. Today we have taken it all. We have taken Isaac from his father and mother. He's well protected. He's in good hands. And I'm happy about the happenings of today. Also speaking, the bride's siblings wish the newly married couple love and understanding in their marriage. I'm so excited. It's a wonderful day. I am um, grateful to God that um, I like to see this, um, you know, have this opportunity of seeing my sister get married. I pray that God blesses them. I pray that God remains at the center of their marriage. Um, so, I mean, all I can do really is just pray for them and they continue to have that grace. Um, I wish Isaiah and Bob a very happy married life. I wish them all the best. I pray that God's hand will be upon their union. Their union will be blessed with beautiful, healthy children. Their union will be blessed with the grace, the joy, the peace of the Lord. And love will continue to grow between them forever and ever. Um, Isa and Bob are truly blessed to have found each other. I pray that God continues to bless their household. God continues to grant them joy, peace, love, understanding, wisdom patience that it takes to make their marriage a success. Some dignitaries at the event spoke to ITV News on Nigeria's sustained culture of its native law and custom. They attested to the fact that traditional wedding rites has been a more powerful than all the forms of weddings because the parents are respectfully carried along. Traditional marriage is still the authentic one and uh, thank God we are keeping it like that. Although tradition is not static, 
there are some modifications here and there, but we are doing we are, we are doing well, keeping it. African culture is African culture. We're all African, and we cannot run away from that fact. We may have uh, boundaries, we may have differences, but we are actually African. Traditional marriages have their color. They are seated in our tradition. My father and my mother never went to church when they did theirs some 60 to 70 years ago. The Edo customary law is unique. There's no way you can adulterate it. A white wedding is uh, a blessing. This is the most significant part because they see the other one as an intrusion into the tradition. That is the way we do our wedding. Before the introduction of the Christian marriage or any other form of marriage, that's how we have been marrying ourselves. And it's a good thing that we are promoting our culture. We pray to God Almighty to give them the strength, the wisdom, the knowledge, and the wherewithal to be able to sustain that relationship. There were more than enough to eat and drink as family members, friends, well-wishers and guests danced in celebration of the newly married couple. Osawona <laughs> ITV.